let them shoot my stars. That's right. Yeah. Yay. That's right. I just will not let them do it. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Are, are we ready? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Well, Rachel, we met once before, and now we're meeting for the big event, which is the summer of 42, mm -hmm. and uh, here at the newly renovated Casa Manana Theater. Could I just get some reaction from you about the theater, although I know you didn't see it before, but just how is it working for you actors? Uh, it's, it's wonderful. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it. I, I know I have heard that uh, one of the reasons why they transformed it into this type of theater was because so many productions don't normally uh, fit in a theater in the round type of style, type of venue, and so this way they can bring in a lot more variety of shows. Is that correct? I, I believe that that's what I've heard. Yes, that, that is one of the considerations. Indeed it is. And um, so I think it's lovely. The acoustics, the, um, the, uh, the, the seats in the audience are beautiful, and I love the stage, the way they've They've uh, done it, as you can see. <laughs> it's very beautiful. It is. Uh, it's I set think by the sea. Yes, it, 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 it is. And when you put the surf behind it, uh, <laughs> you know, you can kind of close your eyes and think you're at the beach. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about um, your role uh, of Dorothy mm -hmm. in the summer of 42. Did you see the movie ever? I did. I uh, Actually, when they approached me to do this, I had remembered the movie. I think I saw the movie, I must have been like 16, I think, when I, I saw the movie on TV. And, um, and I remember it having an effect on me at that time. Um, and loving, of course, uh, Michelle Legrand's music, The Summer of 42. And so I remembered, I, I distinctly remembered the character of Dorothy and the story. And uh, I then recently have watched it again um, to, to sort of re refresh my memory of it. So, and actually, I have to say, um, in watching it again, I like what this production brings a little more. Um, you get to know the character of Dorothy a little better. There's a little more humor involved. Um, I believe it's, you go, you run through sort of the gamut of emotions. Um, you, you feel sorrow, you feel, you, it's funny, you, you laugh, um, and it's, it's precious. It's a precious production. Uh, whereas I find the movie was sort of a very, uh, there was a stillness to the movie, but it, it sort of kept that stillness throughout the film. This has a little bit more variety and, and color to it, I find. This, of course, is the story of an older woman and a younger man, a boy, actually, a 15-year-old <laughs> boy. Nowadays, of course, the older woman, the younger man, is not, you know, that big a deal. I mean, However, when he's 15, that could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, it could be. <laughs> Legally, it might be a problem. <laughs> but um, did you have any hesitancy about this because of the nature of the story? No, I mean, I saw, because I saw it at 16, and I know how I reacted to that, I mean, it's, the, it depends on the way you look at it. It depends on where you're coming from as a person as to how you interpret it. Uh, I find it, it's, it's, it's about innocence. It's about a boy, an innocent boy, discovering feelings inside of him, discovering sexual feelings inside of him, and, and, and figuring out the proper way to, to um, express those feelings. And in contrast, the story is interesting in how it shows his friends looking at the act of sex as, as, as an act, as, 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 uh, <laughs> as a stage, you know, there's, there's how many positions and things like that. It, if, like just a physical act, whereas Hermie, the lead character, learns that it's something much more than that. Through his friendship with Dorothy, he learns that it's, it's about honesty and comforting and love, uh, and that there's sort of an eroticism in that in itself, not in, in the physicality of it. So, and I, uh, I did not, uh, I heard from the director, uh, he, he 
was able to do a lot more research than I was because I was only given about a week before I, I started this. Um, but how it is a true story. And uh, the, the real character of Dorothy, when this act occurred, afterwards, she felt very, she, she was very worried that uh, it, perhaps in some way she, she damaged this boy. It was, a, it was an evening of, of, she was emotional and uh, she had lost her husband and it, 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 she was concerned. But the way the writer describes the evening, because he was the boy, Hermie, in the story, that it was, it was more, it was an evening about comfort. It, it had nothing to do with the physical act of it. And that's what he learned as a boy. It was about two people comforting each other in, in a physical way, um, in a loving, honest way. I think some of the music is really wonderful in this. And uh, you have a couple of numbers that are just uh, highlights and with your big, full-blown voice, which I love. Thank um, you. Let's talk about one of them. Uh, <coughs> I choose this one because it's the one for which I have some video. Um, losing track of time. Just tell me uh, your approach to that song and how you feel about it. Gosh, that's kind of a tough question. <laughs> how do I feel about that? Or just about the music in general that you get to sing uh, in, in this mm. musical. I, I, I love David Kirschenbaum's music. It's, um, it's, it is similar to Michelle Legrand, who is one of my favorite composers. Uh, it has a nice variety to it. Uh, the songs have a, have, a, have a mystery, a sweetness to them. As, and, and some of them have a, a slight pop quality to them as well. Um, I in, they fit very nicely in my voice, and I enjoy the lyrics that he also wrote. Um, he seemed to really understand who Dorothy was and, and the loneliness that she was feeling and the yearning and, and worry that she was feeling for her husband across, over, overseas and how, and, and, and that thought of perhaps never seeing him again and wanting to repress that thought as much as possible. <laughs> so um, that song, that song is about repressing those, those thoughts of fear and, and just going through the motions and and losing track of time in the process. Not necessarily being fully in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you have had some big roles on Broadway. And um, let's talk just a moment about Victor Victoria. You did uh, Norma, the Leslie Ann Warren role in the movie. And um, uh, as I sit and look at you, uh, you know, you don't look like a Norma, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I know costumes and uh, wigs. No, I was and blonde back then. It was <laughs> easier for them to see that. <laughs> uh, did you actually uh, dye your hair for it? Did you bleach your no, hair? No, no, I wore, wore wigs. wigs but course. I was blonde at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, and you got a drama desk. Yes, uh, I did. Yes. So, um, in, in doing that role, uh, was that extra special or was it uh, it was just a fun thing you did that was I, I all the roles that I played I feel uh, were very special to me at that time uh, Norma was very special uh, working with Blake Edwards was a great highlight he's such a great comical director and of course Julie Andrews she's a dear friend and just such a, an incredible role model and a wonderful person to work with and uh, it was actually one of the w most wonderful companies I've ever worked with, a really warm company. And I think that's because it starts from the top with Julie and Blake. And uh, I had a wonderful time working with Blake because he really allowed me to just experiment with a really wacky character, a very spontaneous and wacky character. So, um, you know, he let the reins loose and I went wild and had a great time. So I. 
I do think of that as a very special production to me. Norma and Dorothy didn't have a lot in common. No, with it. <laughs> just about nothing. <laughs> but that's what I find. That's why I'm in this business. I I, I seek out versatile roles. Uh, if I play one role, I'll seek something completely different the next the next time around. So, speaking of versatility, am I hearing something? Yeah, maybe that was oh. over there. Oh, okay. Speaking of versatility. Uh, you not too long ago played the life of Lucille Ball, Lucy, yes. in the TV movie. Now, how did that come about? Oh, that's funny. I was just talking about that. Well, I learned a lot about Hollywood in that process. <laughs> uh, I auditioned, and each time you audition, it's uh, you have to convince somebody else. <laughs> you know, convince the casting director, then you convince the producers, then you convince the director, then you convince. The other producers. Then you finally had to convince the network, and um, I did that. <laughs> Evidently, believe it or not, um, if, if 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 the network had not gone with me, they would have ditched the project. They could not find somebody um, to play the role. And even though I don't really consider, really feel that I look like Lucille Ball, I have the ability to to do character work and really really find uh, not only the person's voice and the person's walk but really their essence where who they are underneath I'm I I have a knack for that and well, they won't wait till he's playing so oh, okay, okay. Right. <coughs> ask a question if you have a problem okay. <laughs> uh, why don't you pick up we were okay uh, with uh, uh, how you have a knack for uh, take a little sip, sure, sip yeah. of water. Yeah. Sure. Um, Pick up with there that uh, you have a knack to, to be the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will that work for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. Let, let me just uh, toss it to you then. Um, so how did you get the the character together? I mean, this is Lucille Ball. It was an amazing experience. Um, she was such an interesting person and I learned a lot about her and about life and her life and the similarities we actually have many similarities to us even though I don't really consider that I look like her I am as an actress I have the ability to to do character work and really find their walk and their talk and their their essence what what makes them be express themselves the way they are and that's what I find so fun about the doing this kind of work so this was it was really a dream role but it was more than that it was um, in some ways you know you could almost say if you go beyond above and beyond I, I almost feel in some ways she communicated to me in my dreams or something and maybe that's just because I was submerging my my mind with so much information about her I, I watched every every video, uh, anything that she'd done, I could get my hands on, as well as watching many videos and uh, reading many books about her, and the different w ways in which people saw her. Everybody saw her in a different way, in different times in her life, and those are all clues as to who she really was, because she was all of those things. Um, and I found we had a lot of similarities. Not her, her birthday's on August 6th, and mine is the 7th. And uh, so I find that she was a person that expressed herself uh, it, the way I do. I mean, or at least I saw that. And uh, I learned a lot, the, the struggles that she had in the business. And I, I don't, I haven't had particularly her experience with that relationship but um, certainly understood it and, and sympathized. Um, but she was just a, an amazing woman. And one of the things, like she, she, was, um, she was very family oriented because her family was split up so much at the time when she was in her youth. Uh, she, her, one of her main goals was to keep to have a great family union uh, unit. She that was very important to her, and that's very important to me as well. You know, I'm, 
I, I, I want to protect my family. And uh, so I, there, were, there, there were, it goes on. There were, were many more things. She, she was a very versatile actress as well. Um, I saw her in so many of her films, she was considered a, a dramatic actress before she did Lucy. She, was, she did comedy as well, but she, she also did drama and uh, played many different types of characters, not just Lucy per se. So I was very impressed with her, her work. It's just that she, she, uh, she created the, the role of Lucy and that became her trademark. You know. Was any of the physical comedy of Lucille Ball difficult for you? No, and, and the funny thing was, is all of the scenes that uh, we shot, that were actual scenes from, from the time, um, I, I wasn't concerned about that. I, I, felt, I felt that I could, I could. Hold it again. Yeah. Where are these planes coming <laughs> from? <laughs> oh, I bet it is Lockheed. Oh, yeah, it's Lockheed. Yeah, it's gone. It's over already. Okay. All right, let's start uh, We can read just the question. It. Was any of the physical comedy of Lucille Ball difficult for you? Strangely enough, it, it wasn't. Because I'm kind of, uh, because we have similarities, like I just explained, um, and, and the kind of work that I did with Norma in Victor Victoria uh, really, I think, prepared me for the role, uh, and I love I love that. I love I love doing. I'm, I'm very good at physical comedy. That's something else I I feel confident in doing, and um, so I knew I wasn't intimidated because on some, one level I felt like nobody else could do it any better than I could. They might be able to do it as well, but I don't necessarily feel they could do it any better. And on, like I said, I was I'm good at the character work, so I was able to get that down and and. Uh, perfect it. I'm, I'm a perfectionist in that way. So, and I, I really wanted to to be as close to everything that she did as possible. And um, so, no, that didn't. What what uh, was actually more, what actually concerned me more was really bringing the truth of who she was in real life. That that was the mystery that I wanted to unravel and present. Um, everybody, everybody um, has an, their impression of Lucy in I Love Lucy, and so that's almost that um, that part of it was almost imitation um, in recreating the scenes that she did, you know, as to perfection as much as possible. Um, the challenge was really finding who she was inside in real life, and. Uh, Apparently, from everything I heard, many people never did get that figured out about her. I mean, that, that she was a complex person. Mm -hmm. People, she was. Did you talk with her daughter or? Anything? I didn't, but I saw they, her daughter had put together two videos, documentaries about her mother, in which she asked all of her friends. She, she talked about her mother and gave some amazing information. And it's true, everybody saw her differently. Some people saw her as funny and like her Lucy character. Other people thought Desi was the life of the party and that she was very, very serious and not necessarily really friendly and open. But other people would say, oh my gosh, she was the most friendly, open, wonderful, genuine, gracious, generous person. So she she had different and I, I you know I'm the same way I think everybody is I I know that people perceive me sometimes as as very together and focused other times they see me as scattered <laughs> sometimes they see me as uh, goofy and other times they see me as very refined so it <laughs> um, pick your day. <laughs> I've even had, uh, you know, I consider myself a very open and, and giving person, and yet some people have seen me as being, uh, when they first met me, as perceiving me as cold, which I really, that's really a stretch for me, but, um, but so that, that's how we all are. We are all complex. We all have different moods. So it was a, it was a matter of finding out where she was in different times of her life, emotionally, and uh, and bringing that out. Well, that had to be a, a wonderful um, 
opportunity for you and to do it well according to many, many, many critics and, and people who saw it. They just she's, a, she's a wonderful role model in general because she started at a very young age as an actress, just trying to get any kind of work that she could get. Uh, pie in the face, uh, anything. She, but she was always game. I was like that as well. I'm always game. I'll try anything. <laughs> then Victor Victoria, yeah, <laughs> I'll bend over. And, um, it was, it was, it was, uh, she was always game and fun and worked very hard all of her life uh, and trying to be an A-list uh, actress, film actress. She wanted to do film and actually she wanted to do Broadway. And finally found her niche when she was turning 40. That's, I mean, and I think a lot of people don't realize that, that she was 39, 40 when, when she finally got her huge break, which is um, very encouraging to a lot of women, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, you know, when they, when they tell you, ah, after 35, ah. <laughs> And that just, and yet for men, it's like, oh, when you're 35, things just start rolling, you know? <laughs> so she was, she was sort of an exception to that illusion, illusional rule, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Rachel, I appreciate so much your time today. And again, I'll tell you how much I enjoyed your performance. I Thank enjoyed you. Summer of 42. And uh, I hope you all have a very successful run here. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. I hope there's some good stuff in there. There is, yeah. Okay, now he's going to move for not only theater people, but all people in show business. You know, you're, you're kind of loose in, in what might be perceived as raunchy to some people. It's just, I'm sorry, this is the way we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're on television. We don't act like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought you were saying you interviewed her. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have interviewed her, but no, not that. Not this morning. Uh, but uh, I just knew he was too mature. You know what, Bobby? I disconnect you. Disconnect you. If you can. What do you want me to do? Let's oh, I see it. Yeah, just okay. throw me that. Oh, cable. okay. Do you need this one? Oh. All right. Okay. Here we go. Had you seen the movie Summer of 42? I saw the movie when I was about 16 years old, and I revisited it um, about a week ago. That's fine. Okay. All right. Hold on. No bother. Okay. Had you seen the movie Summer of 42? I saw the movie when I was 16 years old on TV and uh, had a very distinct memory of the characters of Hermie and Dorothy. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just okay. talking until right. you cut me off. <laughs> la, 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 la. Did you have any hesitancy at all about taking this role? No. When I saw the role, when I saw the movie, uh, it, it, was, it was a movie about innocence. It was a movie about a boy finding what, what the act of sex and love really are. That's fine. Okay. All right. Um, as an actress, how do you feel about this new venue? Oh, the new venue. I think it's a beautiful theater. I've, I've enjoyed it very much working here. And um, the, uh, the producers and everybody in charge are wonderful people. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, okay. Felicity woman is really nice. <laughs> You have had some wonderful roles and some award-winning roles on Broadway. Let's talk a little bit about Victor Victoria and the role of Norma, played by Leslie Ann Warren in the movie. I, that was a very uh, wonderful experience working with Julie and Blake Edwards. I was able to there. When you were playing Lucille Ball in the TV movie, let me start. When you were playing Lucille Ball in the TV movie, was the physical comedy hard for you to do? No, I, I'm actually, I feel very comfortable with that. Um, I'm, I'm known for doing physical comedy in Victor Victoria. Okay. Um, what kind of preparation did you do for playing Lucy? I saw every piece of video uh, film 
of hers that I could get my hand on, hands on, and I uh, watched many videos and read many books on her. Okay. <laughs> I think that should do it. All right. That's good.